end of your days, what would you like to say? How would you want to summarize your life? Facing death, Paul was able to say, I've fought the good fight, I've finished the race, I have kept the faith. We've seen how these three phrases parallel the images of Christian service, which Paul gave to us in 2 Timothy chapter 2. Christians are like soldiers fighting the good fight. They are like athletes uh, running the race. And they are like farmers keeping the faith. As a soldier, we fight. As an athlete, we finish the race. And as a farmer, we keep. You see, in Bible terms, farmers keep their land and their livestock. Uh, See, for instance, Genesis 2 verse 15. And Paul says that the life of faith is like farming. It's an arduous, unglamorous life of perseverance. There are no celebrity farmers. There are no photo calls for successful farmers. There's no massive bonuses for their work. There are no shortcuts to success. There's just a lot of hard work in faith. You see, you till the field and you sow the seed and you labor long hours without seeing any of the fruits of your labors. You have to keep the faith. You have to keep living, trusting in a future that you cannot yet see, but you know it's coming. You know it's coming, and so you keep the faith. Many years ago, I I left a church after four years preaching to them. I went off to Bible college, and and, uh, that's why I was moving on. Many in the congregation were unsaved, and I was desperate for them to know Jesus. In my sermon, I was was in tears at the end, just urging them to come home to Christ. After the service, I was completely exhausted and downcast. I I just didn't know if my words had made a difference. I'd sown the seed of God's word, but would it bear fruit? I, I didn't know if my ministry had made any difference. A friend of mine spoke four words to me at the end of that service that changed my outlook completely. He simply said, you sowed the seed. Those four words were enough to completely transform my mood and transform my view of ministry. Jesus told us to sow the seed, to sow God's word on all kinds of soil types, all kinds of people, whether they look promising or not. The work of ministry is the work of farming. You sow, you sow, you sow, you sow some more. God gives the growth. It's God's work. God's department is giving the growth. Our department is to get the seed of God's word out there, to broadcast it, to spread it as widely as possible. Be the hardworking farmer. And trust God for the harvest. In time, there will be a bumper crop. The resurrection of Jesus guarantees it. But in the meantime, we persevere as farmers, keeping the faith, trusting God's future. As Galatians 6 verse 9 puts it, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So then, As you long for Christ's appearing, as you pass on his gospel hope, meditate on your calling. The soldier, the athlete, the farmer. Anticipate the glory of Christ's return, the victory, the crown, the harvest. And know that one day too, you will be able to say, I've fought the good fight. I've finished the race. I've kept the faith.